Well, yesterday I did not keep you posted about what is uh, happening in uh, Bobby Wine's camp, uh, but I'm finally back to keep you posted on what is happening uh, right there. Of course, uh, right now we know the biggest story that is uh, trending in uh, Bobby Wine's camp, and uh, of course uh, that is uh, the NUP countrywide tour. Uh, Bobby Wine is still moving around the country in different parts of the country, you know, uh, opening NUP offices, but also speaking to his supporters right there. And yesterday it was uh, day two. He was in a uh, Portro, uh, it was massive, just like it was in Mbarar right there. He actually arrived in uh, Fort Porto around 11 a.m. in the morning, and uh, he was welcomed so big time by his supporters in Fort Porto City right there. He did make some uh, processions on the streets of uh, Fort Porto City, and uh, as you can see in that video, people welcomed him so big time, people impressed him, uh, people showed that they love him so big time. And uh, from making some uh, processions on the streets of Fort Porto, he went to Jubilee radio where he spoke to the people of Fort Porto right there. Unlike in uh, Barrera where radio and digital was uh, switched off uh, in Fort Porto it wasn't the same story uh, Jubilee radio was left on uh, up to now in Barrera we are still questioning why it, you know the radio station was uh, switched off but in uh, Fort Porto um, you know the radio was left on and everything was okay. Now from uh, the radio station Bobby Wine uh, went to open uh, his office right there in uh, Fort Porto City and uh, right now I can officially confirm that uh, Bobby Wine has an office in uh, Fort Porto City. Yes, NUP has an office in Fort Porto City. So from opening the office right there in Fort Porto, he went to speak to his supporters at an open ground and it was massive, so massive as you can see the crowds right there. Bobby Wine did talk about a number of issues. He said that uh, Fort Porto uh, requires an airport. Yes, it requires an airport uh, since it is called a tourism city. Uh, uh, there is need for an airport in Fort Porto, but he also talked about uh, having a football stadium right there in Fort Porto. Let's briefly listen to what he said right there. Singa eno tala tourism city yandi bata ina airport eyo. Wano wai no kubera o airport. Seja kuyamba bantu watorobo ka. Seja kuyamba Uganda yona. Mu Uganda empia budi chintu oba chirime. Chicha kubela kama teka na henga gafe bari nga bantu, nga gaya amba bantu, nga tegaya amba kalika gurupa kamu. Now, the leaders moving with uh, Bobby Wine from uh, the NUP camp said that uh, the reason why Bobby Wine has been welcomed so big time is because Ugandans are yearning for change and they think that uh, Bobby Wine can deliver them to the promised land. They see hope in him, you know. That is why they have welcomed him, they have supported him and uh, they will love him. They will continue to love him, they will continue to support him uh, until he finishes this program of NUP countrywide tour. So we usually call upon people and inform them. It is not the political party, it is not the religion, it is not about the tribe, but the issues that really affect us as a, as a, a community. As gone because uh, we face the same challenges. The young people here do not have jobs. The hospitals uh, do not have medicine. The, their children are not going to school. You can see them that, 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 that they are impoverished. Poverty is all over the country, poverty is all over Port Potro and the entire Uganda. So if they have not experimented what we expected from them, then we need change. And that change will, is the only thing that we expect to bring up changes in uh, education, in the healthy sector, in every state. That the people of Uganda need change. And I'm so thankful for the leadership of the National Unity Platform. We have seen young people in, in the town of Port Potro who have been intimidated by policemen and UPD but they have shown that this time is timely. They are ready to, uh, to listen to what the President uh, Chagwan has come to, to talk to them. Well, some residents in Fort Porto um, have thanked Uganda police and uh, the sister agencies for not disrupting Bobby Wine's programs right there. And uh, so far, so good. Uh, we saw what happened in Barara and uh, in Fort Porto, everything was okay. And uh, the residents in Fort Porto said that big upon yourselves, Uganda police, for not disrupting Bobby Wine's programs right there. I'd like to thank the police and the army and the whole security at large. Today indeed they have been very organized when Chagula and Bobo visited the Toro. Really I request that even whenever other opposition members are traveling, let the security be organized like this. Even I thank a UCC, this time they have not switched off one of the radios where Bobo was and Lake in Imbarara. So I really thank the security. Indeed, today they have shown a very good discipline. 
uh, NUP Secretary General, that is uh, David Luis Rubongoya, also commented on uh, this issue of police not disrupting uh, their programs. And he also hopes that, uh, you know, Uganda police is not going to disrupt them until they finish this program of NUP countrywide tour. Say that for the first time the security forces are doing what they're supposed to do to act professionally and within the law and to ensure that they do not disrupt our activities you can see that all the people who have been dying in our activities who have been uh, maimed in our activities have been getting those problems as a result of police and military interference you can see today that people have gathered in thousands in Barara, in tens of thousands here in Fort Porto in thousands to receive our president and all leaders and there has been no incident whatsoever. You've not heard that uh, there has been vandalism, you've not heard that uh, anyone in the shop has been uh, uh, attacked or anything like that. That means that Ugandans are always peaceful until the military and police come in to disrupt our activities. So we hope that the police and the military will do what they're supposed to do because now you've seen they were just directing traffic and, you know, they are to, 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 to ensure that there is law and order. And that is what we expect uh, of them all the time. Well, there you go. That is uh, the latest update coming in from uh, His Excellency Bobby Wine's camp. And I think today he's going to be in Kasese Municipality. We hope everything goes on well for them right there in Kasese Municipality. And all the updates will be coming your way right here on the Buzz UG. What you have to do, subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Uh, don't forget to follow me on TikTok. I'm Melads Milo. AKA Fuller. It is a bye for now. Thank you.